What's going on, guys? King Raven here coming at you with another video today. Before we get into today's video topic and everything, let's do a quick wrist check. I am wearing the Phobus or Phoebus, however you want to say it, Kraken. This is the champagne dial. Beautiful watch. I love this bracelet. That bracelet made the look like scales. And everything is outstanding. I love it. It's an awesome. And I'm also, for my knife, I'm carrying the Hinder XM18 3-inch. Okay, so this is a little small, nice EDC size. This is the 3-inch Skinner. Coyote um, Scales uh, Working Finish. And this one is in... As you can see right here, 20 CV, CPM 20 CV. I have some in M390, so I always have to check. This one's in 20 CV. I uh, love the working finish, and I love this little Skinner blade. It's got a great tip and lots of belly, so you can do anything, whether it's punching in the packages, uh, food prep, this little three inch is a perfect EDC size, especially with that tool. You can choke up, and this is probably a, one of the best EDC size knife that I can recommend and everything. It's right there, pair of three size, so that gives you an idea. Yeah, Hinder XM18 three inch Skinner is outstanding. Okay. Enough about the knife, enough about the watch. I was going to do a different video today, but because of what has happened and everything like that, I'm doing a completely different video today, okay? So, I'm going to insert a picture, okay? You'll see a picture coming up, and then I'll start back the video. Okay, that picture was of just some the blood stains that was on our front porch. The blood trail goes down the street and through the yard and everything like that. My nephew, as y'all know, uh, him as Prince Rylan in some of my videos and everything. He's an eight-year-old, eight-year-old active boy and everything like that. He was playing outside barefoot, okay, so he, what he did wrong is he was playing barefoot, okay, but a lot of people in the south go barefoot, so, but, you know, he should have had on some shoes, but anyway, uh, he was playing, and he was playing around a ditch, I grew up playing in a ditch and everything like that, so I can't say much and everything, but there was a broken perfume bottle in the water that he could not see and he stepped right on that perfume bottle and it has cut his foot just about the whole length of his foot and everything he cut it doggone deep so um he as of filming this video he is currently at the doctor's right now i'm just coming down but i wanted to make this video because you know, uh, uh, why I wanted to make this video is you need to have trauma kits and different medical supplies on hand. I say you need to stockpile some because you need to have an abundance of them. But you need to at least have some because uh, my dad, who was helping him and everything, he was just yelling to me and everything. Gets herself from bleeding. So, uh, and I was like, where's the cut? Foot. Okay, so I'm running and I'm getting stuff. And I'm going to show you some of the stuff. But I'm getting uh, pads and uh, actually ABD pads. One of the best things you can keep on hand. These are 5x9 ABD pads. Super absorbent. They're sealed. You unfold them so that they're sterile anything they're sealed okay you uh you can even see right there sterile abdominal 
uh, combined dressings are ABD pads. You can find them on Amazon. That's where I get most of mine. But grabbing these, grabbing uh, Coban, self adhesive wrap, grabbing saline, and stuff like that to where we can put pressure, wrap up to be able to get them to help, okay? So you need to have stuff on hand. You need to have medical kits. You need to have supplies. You need to have, and I'm going to go through some of the stuff that I recommend and everything. So it is stuff because not a, you never know what can happen. This was just out of the blue, him playing, okay? Accidents can happen. You know, all different things can happen, and you need to be prepared to be able to handle a just about whatever comes along and at least not necessarily to where you fix it yourself and everything be prepared to deal with the issue to get you to help that's the key thing deal with it to get you to help or for help to get to you and everything because sometimes you have to react quickly all right you need to be able to deal with stuff quickly and everything. So I always recommend having kits and medical supplies on hand. So let's talk about some kits first. There's all different types of kits. Like this is one kind of kit that I keep in my car and everything like that. I love keeping a kit like this in the car because this is not like a Bobo kit. I'm not talking about Bobo kits, band-aids and stuff like that. Yeah, all hit. I'm talking about trauma kits, okay? And this is just one type of trauma kit. It's got a uh, SWAT T tourniquet, so one of the rubber band style tourniquets, okay? Are they the absolute best? No, but they work and they will do, okay? So it's better than having none. Quick clock for bleeding. It's got gloves to handle its stuff. It's got uh, flat bandages, okay? It uh, it actually has um, the hemostatic agent, the thin bandage, the sponge, so absorbent sponge, medical gloves, and the SWAT T tourniquet, all in this little sealed zip pouch that you can just open it up and use. This is a small little good kit to keep cars, backpacks, bags. It's light. Doesn't take up much room. And then you need to have stuff like this in your house, okay? Uh, it, or even in your cars and stuff like that. But you need to have one in your car and one in your house. But this is a much larger kit. This kit has tourniquets. And has Israeli bandages. And has another tourniquet. And has uh, different uh, quick clot bandages. Okay? And then has all different gauzes and tapes. And there's just a myriad of trauma supplies that is in this particular kit. And the, there's so many different places that sell kit. I'm going to recommend where I get... A lot of these kits like this, that even they pack them in the bag, okay? Check out Medical Gear Outfitters, okay? He runs a YouTube channel, Skinny Medic. He's a paramedic. Been doing paramedics for years, okay? And he has Medical Gear Outfitters. So he's getting good quality stuff, all right? quality medical supplies and selling the, just the supplies or you can get these kits in different bags. This is a VanQuest fat pack. This is the largest fat pack that they make. They make some smaller ones and he's got some in different stuff like that. But Medical Gear Outfitters, you can get a pack like this already made up. You ain't got to worry about, well, what do I need in the pack? You can get other stuff and supplement this but you can get a pack like this from some place like him, and there's lots of others. Just Google medical kits, but make sure you're getting quality stuff. Is this stuff cheap? No. Is your life worth it? Yes. Okay? 
Don't be cheap on something that can save your life. Cheap out on other stuff. Don't order the pizza. Okay? So, spend the money where it's wisely to spend the money. Okay? Uh, Cobain. Always good. Cobain can do so many different things. Hold bandages in place. Wrap up stuff. Cobain, the ABD pads, and this right here. Okay, these are 4 by 4s This is happens, they make sterile 4 by 4s I recommend having sterile 4 by 4s but also packs of non-sterile 4 by 4s They work for just padding, wadding, uh, you, you know. Uh, there's so many different things that 4 by 4s can be used for. I use 4 by 4s all the time. I have packages, and these are cheap. You can get these, you know, uh, this whole pack of 200 4 by 4s multiply 4 by 4s uh, off of Amazon for like 8 bucks. okay? I have packs of these. I have packages of Cobain. I have packages of ABD pads. Keep big bottles of hydrogen peroxide. Okay? Keep bottles of alcohol. This stuff can sterilize stuff. This stuff can clean wounds. Uh, this is another very handy thing. This is called cast padding. You can get this off of Amazon or different medical supplies. But it's like a 4x4 gauze type material. So a, a woven claw type material, but it's in a roll. And normally it's, you know, they put the stuff uh, on your leg or arm or whatever. And then they wrap this around you to pad before they put the hard stuff of... Uh, the cast on there, so you have this soft, woven, uh, cloth-like material in between your limb and the actual hard stuff or cast. But this stuff can be used for m multiple things. You get cuts like this, okay? Put an ABD pad, wrap it, cast padding. Take Coban, wrap around the cast padding. You have just made a thick absorbent padding that is secured on, get you to the hospital, get you to the doctor's office, get you to where you can get help. So, cast padding, all this types of stuff is minimum what you should have on hand. Besides your band-aids and your different little boo-boo stuff and stuff like this. I'm talking about stuff where you can treat stuff when it happens, okay? Because uh, you don't know how far away an ambulance might have to come. You don't know how far away it, before a fireman can get there or an EMT or anything like that. You gotta be able to deal with stuff as it comes, okay? So, I I just, uh, am I harping on this because of the, what just happened? Yes, it did put it on my heart. I've made other videos talking about uh, medical kits. So, this is something that I don't just talk about. I preach and everything. I, I, I practice it, too. I don't just preach, I practice, okay? I practice what I preach, okay? I have closets that's got all sorts of stuff in it and everything as far as medical supplies and everything. I've been dealing with open wounds on my legs for a long time before I had my amputation. So I'm used to buying medical supplies and once I got my amputations done, I didn't stop. I still keep that stuff because it's used for all sorts of stuff. So, I just wanted to make a video that was, you know, off the cuff because it definitely wasn't the video I was planning on making today. But, it's a video that I think needs to be made today because, you know, I want y'all to be safe out there. Like I say, 
at the end of all my videos. Y'all be safe out there. That's not only mean, mean be situationally aware of your surroundings. That's not only meaning take proper precautions, do your EDCs, carry your stuff, but it also means take time to prepare and get stuff for emergencies. And once an emergency happens, it's too late to get the stuff. You got to get it before the emergency happens. Okay? I won't harp on it anymore. I won't preach anymore. But please, take it from somebody who has had uh, an ulcer that ate, uh, uh, adhered to an adhesive and everything, and uh, to a vein. And when it was removed and everything, I had... Uh, a splurter all over the bathroom. It, it, a vein was just spurting and everything, just going all over the place. But I had stuff here at the house that we could deal with it until the firemen and the ambulance and all this stuff could get here to uh, help me, okay? So I had tourniquets. I had two tourniquets on my leg. We had pads and everything absorbing uh, from the... Uh, the blood that was spurting from my vein, okay? So, I've been there. I had the stuff. I used the stuff and everything like that. Uh, I could say many more different issues, but that's just one example of happened to me besides what happened to my nephew today and everything. So, just take the time. Y'all be safe out there, okay? I'm King Raven. I want y'all to be safe out there. I'll catch y'all in the next video, and hopefully y'all take my advice and get some stuff to keep at your house to help in case if something happens. Love y'all guys. Want y'all to stay safe. Catch you in the next video.